Welcome back everyone, I'm Victor Campos and I'm going to show you how to get followers on Google+. I've got this business page that I created in the previous videos. I've shared some content. Notice here I've got a, a text share and then I did a video share and I showed you the trick about adding markup so that the text looks bold, italics, or strike through. Check the other video to see how to do that. But I shared this content and um, who can see it? Notice it says this has been shared publicly. So cool, the public can see it. Everyone can see it on Google+. But we don't have any connections with people so therefore really no one is seeing it. It's like if I don't have any friends in real life and I'm talking out loud, who's paying attention? Well, if I'm in a room with my friends, they would pay attention. Let's talk about one tactic to get followers, and then we'll talk about more powerful tactics in a later video when it comes to communities. So notice what I've got uh, on this screen. Follow things you love. Uh, and in my case, it's suggesting science and nature, causes and games. Well, I want to see what science and nature has to offer, so I'll view that. And here it pops up to say, well, you might be interested in National Ge Geographic, in nature, discover, Star Talk Radio, Buzz Aldrin, etc. So you can follow these. That'll give you content, sure. Let's look at another way to do this. Um, at the top of Google+, Plus, we've always got a search screen, a search box. Search for people, pages, or posts. So I'm going to type up here, Victor Campos. That'll pop up to show me all the Victor Campuses, all the Victor Campus I in Google+. Plus. And that's me. That's my, uh, that's my profile there. So let's say you wanted to add me to Google+. Plus. You would click there it would show up to my profile, which looks like your your own um, business page, the about me content, stats and such. But the important part is add to circles. Google Plus has this nomenclature of circles, which is just another term for following or followers. It's basically connections. So I'm currently in my business page and I want to follow, I want to add to a circle this individual. I can do this with businesses or uh, people. So if I hover over, I get the option, where do I want to organize them into? What's good about Google Plus is that you can be following a thousand profiles and then organize those profiles so that all of the people that care about cupcakes would go in the cupcake circle. Remember, I am Victor's Bakery. Uh, all the people interested in um, low-calorie products uh, would be in the low-calorie circle. So here I have some built-in options following customers, VIPs, team members. I'm going to select following. I'm going to add Victor Campos to the following circle adding to circles. People and pages you add to your circles will be notified. Others may see this notification publicly. People you add to circles can use Hangouts with you. So I've made a connection now. I can have a video Hangout with them. I can share content and when I select a circle they'll be notified. As, an, as a matter of fact, notifications, this says that Victor Campos got a notification and I see over there on my mobile device I got a notification saying I've been circled. Uh, but the good thing is that, that the person doesn't know what circle they were added to. So if I need to follow my boss or some friends, I can add them to various circles and they won't know what circle they've been put into. So if for some reason I need to follow someone that's annoying, I can put them into the annoying people circle and they won't know they're in that circle. They'll just know that they were followed. So okay, got it. I can add people to multiple circles. So I've added Victor to following, but I'm also going to add him to a new circle. Uh, I'll create a circle on the spot here, and I'll call it uh, San Diego People. So I've got him in both of these circles. 
Why would I do this? Well, it'll make sense a little bit later. So I've added a person. Let's say I want to add a company. Um, you can check out my company, PMD Interactive. So search for PMD Interactive. It comes over to my company. And again, so my company can follow companies or people. I'm going to select to put them under, well, they're in San Diego. We're in San Diego, so we'll select San Diego. But I also want to put them into companies. So two circles. I can continue to search for people. And go to their profiles and follow them. And uh, start to build a, f a following that way. Um, I can follow profiles and they will possibly follow me back and that way I have an audience. That might be a bit slow. So another thing we can do is if we go over to the menu and select people at the top we've got find people which allows me to search for people here as well so names appear here I can search people I can also go to discover and again this will show up in categories so I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna follow Marquez uh, he's an interesting person I'm gonna follow him um, I want to follow The Verge, they are, I'll put them under Companies, uh, Make is interesting, so I'm going to follow Food Network, I'm going to create a new circle here, call it Foodies, So I'm, I've been following, I've been following people, and I can organize them by going up to your circles. This lists the circles that I've um, created, and I hover over, and it shows who's in those circles. I can click a circle and it expands to show me those in that circle so that then I can move them to different circles just click and drag click on a circle to close it click on a circle to open it If I no longer want to follow, I can click the X. They've been removed. So that's how I can organize uh, people. You can search, you can go to discover you can find people to connect to and by connecting with people they could connect back with you and you can get a following so once you have a following and you go back to the stream now you'll see that it's not so empty here you see the content of the accounts that you're following and then once you're following you can interact with them and that's our next video
Interacting on Google Plus is another way to get activity. So come back for that.